Today I am meeting with uh, senior citizens, particularly in the Hispanic community. Uh, one of the things as we age in our population, particularly as the baby boomers are now getting uh, on up in years, is that it saves money and it gives a greater quality of life if we can keep the senior citizen in the home with their families. Uh, but for caregivers who also, and the caregiver may be uh, the grown children uh, who have their own professional lives, uh, often the case is that they need some kind of assistance. And that's what the uh, Family Act that we passed in 2000 enables this kind of assistance to the caregivers so that the seniors can stay in the home and don't have to look at going to a nursing home. Now, among nursing homes, as you know, the state legislature has cut back the money in Medicaid that is going to hospitals and nursing homes. So we're going to see a crisis there, but that's a state action, uh, not a federal action. Uh, coming up in the budget that we're going to pass, we should be providing for these family assistance programs that will help the quality of life for our senior citizens. Let me open up to your questions. Senator, with respect to rising gas prices, you have raised some concerns about trade rules not being enforced, and you're calling for some action. Tell us what you think the problem is and what we can do about it. Uh, even the Wall Street Journal has reported